Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Please continue supporting us. We do really appreciate. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I will appreciate. Just drop the name or the link down below and I will react to it. So today I'm going to be reacting to prophecies of Muhammad peace be upon him in the Hindu scriptures convinces a girl to enter the field to enter the fold of Islam so without wasting time let's get into the video good evening Dr. Zakir my name is Jal and I work here for Emirates Bank International my question to you is which other religion says that they are awaiting the coming of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, other than Muslim and Christianity. Sister asked the question that which other religion besides Islam and Christianity says that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu will come? Sister, besides the religion of Christianity and Islam, most, if not all, most of the religions that came before Islam prophesied about coming of the last and final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I've given a talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures. Besides Christianity, you also find in Judaism about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18 about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. That's the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Christianity is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. There are many verses in the Old Testament and the New Testament prophesying about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Since your name is Jal, and I assume you're a Hindu sister, correct? Yes. I've even given the talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Hindu scriptures. I can give a talk for a few hours. Only on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Hindu scriptures. Time will not permit me to go into it. I'll just give the references. If you read the Hindu scriptures, the Hindu scriptures are of two types. One is Smriti, the other is Shruti. Shruti means the word of God, in which you have Vedas and the Upanishad. Smriti is the word of human being, in which you have Manu Smriti, you have Ramayan, Mahabharat, Epics, etc. You also have the Puranas. If you read Bhavishya Purana, it's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhya 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, which speaks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhya 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, talking about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the Malaysia. He is mentioned in, he is mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7. He is also mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse 1 to 14, which is called as Kuntap Suktas. Kuntap means hitting. It speaks about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That he will be the praiseworthy, he will have 60,000 enemies, etc. He is also mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 1, chapter number 53, verse number 9. He is mentioned as Ahmad, which means one who praises in Uttar Chik, mantra number 1500. It's mentioned in Indra, chapter number 2, verse number 152. Yajur Ved, chapter number 31, verse number 18. He's also mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 126, verse number 1 to 14. He is called as Nara Shansa. Nar means man, person. Shansa means coming from Prashansa, praiseworthy. A man who's praiseworthy. If you translate Narashansa, man who's praiseworthy into Arabic, it means Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's prophesied as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 13, verse number three. In Rig Ved, book number 10, hymn number 64, verse number three. He's mentioned Rig Ved, book number two, hymn number three, verse number five. Rig Ved, book number five, hymn number five, verse number two. He's also mentioned Yajur Ved, chapter number 20, verse 37. Yajur Ved, chapter number 21, verse number 31. I can go on and on and on mentioning only the references of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in Hindu scriptures. Due to limitation of time, I will just touch on one prophecy a little bit in more detail. He has been prophesied as the Kalki Autar. You know, when you read the Kalki Purana, book number 2, verse number 5, 7, 9, 11, 14, he is prophesied as the Kalki Autar. And it's mentioned there that his father's name will be Vishnu Yas. Vishnu means God, Yas means servant, servant of God. If you translate to Arabic, it's Abdullah. 
द फादर ऑफ द नेम ऑफ मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम अब्दुल्ला हिज मदर्स नेम विल बी सुमति सुमति मींस सेरेनिटी पीसफुल इफ यू ट्रांसलेट अरबिक इट मींस आमिना द नेम ऑफ द मदर ऑफ मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम आमिना it says he will be born in a city by the name sambala sambala means a place of peace and serenity that is makkah he'll be born in the house of the chief of the village of sambala he was born in the house of quraish it says he will be born on the 12th should clap at every point it will go on for hundreds of class mashallah <laughs> he'll be born on the 12th month of madhav that the 12th rabi awal it says that he will be a teacher for the whole of humanity and we know muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent to the mercy of the whole of humanity it says he'll get the first revelation in a cave known as gar hira it says he will migrate northwards and come back muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went from makka to madina northwards and came back it says that he'll be given eight supernal qualities it says that he'll have four companions talking about the first four khulfa rashidin it says that he'll be helped with the angels in the battlefield we know muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam held in the battle of badar with angels i can go on and on talking only about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so if you are hindu and if you believe in the hindu scriptures you also have to believe the last and final avatar the last and final messenger in hinduism is prophet muhammad peace be upon him however doctor uh according to hinduism the kalki avatar is still being awaited so are you uh, is it that if you are, have not just not aware about it you said the kalki avatar is yet awaited if you have not recognized the kalki avatar you are to blame not me i have given yes. you so many similarities now you have to disprove it you say my scripture says vishnu yas father's name prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam father's name was not vishnu yas you have to disprove me now this has been done by pandits of hinduism Hindu scholars have also written this. Now the Hindu scholars are preventing the truth from you. They are hiding the truth from you. You, as a logical girl, as intelligent girl who is working in a high post, it's your duty to realize that if your priest are hiding the truth from you, we can have a debate with your priest. You can call the doctors of divinity. You know, I have had dialogues with pandits. You know, one of the very famous is Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. He never disagreed. He agreed. He agreed with what I said about oneness of Almighty God has got no images. He believed in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He did not accept that's a different thing because he will lose his following. Therefore, sister, do you have a following? So you have no fear to lose the following. So when I've given you so many references with giving quotations, I'm not pulling a fast one. You can very well go and check and verify. But after you verify, do you accept in the last and final messenger? Do you? Yes. So do you believe in Prophet Muhammad peace yes. be upon him? Mashallah. Do you believe that there's one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Almighty God has got no images? Yes, I do. So you believe there's God and he has no images? Yes. And do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Then you're a Muslim sister. <laughs> What you said is the shahada in english do you want to repeat in arabic if you want sister what you said is in english that there is no god but allah and prophet muhammad is the messenger would you like to repeat in arabic sister i do okay i'll just repeat it and you have to continue sister ashhadu ashhadu allah allah ilaha ilaha illa allah illa allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu ablu wa rasuluhu wa rasulu i be Mashallah sister May Allah Mash Mashallah sister may Allah reward you you have joined a family of religion of peace of more than 1.3 to 1.5 billion may Allah reward you and may allah grant you jannah inshallah and believe me sister it requires guts i feel that mashallah i really admire your guts 
मोर देन श्री श्री रविशंकर माशाला and i pray that may give you hidayah and may guide you inshallah and sister if you have any questions any queries there are local organizations in dubai who can surely clarify your misconceptions to understand islam look at the quran and the sahih hadith they are the best guides if you have any queries you can even write to the email at islam@irf.net it may pleasure to reply and do pray for me also sister What a pretty lady. I love people that come from different backgrounds that use their background to compare it to something else maybe they were not born in. Um I always say asking questions is the way forward. How are you going to know Muhammad is mentioned in Hindu scriptures if you never ask? Also, I love that you got her answer from a Muslim. and i'm sure these people that have left hinduism and would also have more answers for her and make her even understand more help her expand her knowledge and all of that i always clap for people that convert um at the end of the day i'm here for people that actually recognize that as long as we believe in one god we are all one people no matter what uh, banner we stand and uh let me know what you guys think about this video and the questions that she asked very very beautiful question by the way uh your opinion is always welcome uh what what is your what is your opinion on this video let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video